Welcome to Sidecar Games. My name is Kevin Manley, and today I am joined by my lovely, lovely wife, Ashley Manley. Hi. And we are playing some more Vampire. It's locked. Over on twitch.tv slash Sidecar Games. If you want to watch it live, head over and check it out there. Otherwise, let's go. Aqua, thank you. We are back. Thank you, Aqua. We, uh, we dog sat for Dustin and Jenna last night, and, uh... We took a long break on Twitch just because uh, Dustin was here to pick up his dog. Tiny common handle. Remember to keep calm and not give into vampire pressure. Okay. <laughs> vampire. Always. Pressure. Uh, <laughs> Don't give into vampire pressure. <laughs> I think he was like waiting for us to come back I know. to say that. He was like, he's oh, like, oh, I'm, I got the perfect. Pun. I'm gonna get him. Also, a Hollow Knight stream would be great fun in the future. But now, vampires. Yeah, we might do some uh, Hollow Knight. Oh, Night. yeah. Well, it's not completely blind, though, because I started playing that. Yeah, we don't have to start it over. We can just play where, from where we are in that game. True. That's the beauty of it. When am I going to unlock stuff? I don't know. Who you gotta find are you? Keys. Can you talk to this man? Please, sir. I need help bad. Oh, What's this man on? needs help. Blight, sir. Mutant Blight. I've lost my mate. Can't find Not his mate. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. <laughs> Kaiser, maybe. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... What if uh, your we buddies... We disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Oh. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Our right. many soldiers who survive okay. the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can hmm. do. Musophobia. Musophobia. Those mooses. Uh, okay. This is a dangerous part of town. I love mooses to pieces. We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He. We both need help. I think he's crazy. He might be. Treatment, I mean. Also, if you guys sleep. haven't been watching Westworld. Who doggy? Better, oh my god. There was an episode, uh, what can you tell me about this? not the not friend. the season finale, not the one before the season you finale, but the one before Richard, that. Eh? Season two. Oh we man. Each other since we came back from the it's front. beautiful television. It's amazing. Yeah. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald. The Fletcher. whole show is just fantastic. Yeah, but that episode in particular. Oh man. Oswald is Oh man. Nervous and quite fragile. I think you dig it, Kaiser. It's very uh, philosophical. Yeah. Philos yeah it's very philosophically. <laughs> he went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. He I thought he was fine. Purpose, so I couldn't go after him. Okay. Because those mice. I have all the information I need for now. Dude, all we need to do if is I just get like mouse powers, and we can scare the shit out of this man. Thank you, Doctor Reed. Okay, wait. But I unlocked a hint. Have you found Oswald? Not yet, yeah. sir. I need more information. <laughs> he all just right. said, I have all the information I what need. Do you want to know? <laughs> Wait, sir, I need more. Oh. I think you're good. Okay. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Westworld's on Sorry. HBO. Okay, so. I'm supposed to go over there. It's locked, all right. Maybe you need to get. Maybe we can't get the knife yet. No. Opium. Damn. Damn. Get... There's just some opium. You wanna get high? Hanging out over here. Uh, That's random what thought. Have you played Subnautica? No, we have not. No, we have not. I think Chris has, because Chris plays every video game. Can I not just transport myself over there in front of this man? Uh, Scared. maybe not. I mean, I feel like there's got to be a way over there. Yeah. Maybe through, maybe if you progress the story a little bit, you'll get like a key to the city. Uh-huh. They're like, you have solved the epidemic. We'll give you a key to the city. You're a hero amongst men. A key to the citadel. The citadel. Maybe I can get there from up here? Maybe you need to not turn down the syndicate. <laughs> Best survival game in my opinion. 
All right, well, we'll have to check it out. Looks like I could get in there. It's possible. Here's a random rocking chair. All right, this has got to be the way then. They just had a curiosity. If I do this, does that show up on stream? No, we're good. Okay. So this is that waiting room. Yeah. Yeah, I've been here. Maybe just go talk to us. No, I'm, I'm on my way to that knife. Oh, you are? You found Popular the path? Popular Farberg. Yeah, see, I can go up there. Have I been here before? I don't think I've been here before. I don't either. think you have. Because you took a boat over to this part of town, remember? Oh, there is all stuff in there. Maybe I'll save that for later. But it's 62 meters away. Yeah, it is very much like a detective game. It's kind of surprising. Get your shit ready, everyone! What level are these people? 11. Oh, So dang. they're going to be challenging. Ready? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit of a brutal detective. Right, one more. And he can suck his blood. There we go. This Dang. may kill him. Yeah, it did. Did you get the claws? No. Uh, no, we did not get the claws yet. We might get that next time we next time we level up. We've only gone to bed like twice. Twice. Yeah. Taking two naps so far. It's cool that like. We've already found another person by exploring outside of the hospital. Wow, whatever that is sounds... Terrifying. Indeed. Yeah. You also passed uh, boys back there. I know, but I just want to get that knife and go back, and then I'll come back and explore after I get my XP. Okay. You know... Yeah, because you can probably bump up a couple of levels at least. Is this more open-ended or more linear? I can't really tell either. Um, we're kind of in, I think we're still either in tutorial zone or just exiting tutorial zone. So I think it's kind of semi open right now and maybe it gets more and more open the longer we go. It's kind of cool just hanging out in the city though. Not a safe place right now, sir. Are you dead? Um, are you deaf? Oh, I gotta go over there. Yeah, you gotta go mess with these men. He's on to us. He's on to us. What are you doing over here then? I think there's a curfew. <laughs> Do you see him glitching out? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he got me. Oh, he got you again. You need to heal. This man's level 12. He's gonna mess you up. Uh, his bullets are hurting you. You wanna you wanna get in close. Yeah, bite him, and then blood spear him. I'd say, cause that does decent damage. Remember stamina. your stamina. Yep, I remember to dodge his attacks. Oh. Alright, there we go. He done. Alright, keep okay. on exploring. It's pretty sick. I gotta say, this game is pretty sick. Where where now? Where are you now? Um, seven, oh, okay. I gotta get down there. So I actually went the wrong way. 
Oh well, wait, can I get over there? Uh, keep trying, yeah. There was an alley. Aha. Uh Haha. -huh. And a staircase down. Look at that. can get how far away from the hideout are you 256 meters or 25 meters is that what that says you're getting close oh that's a that's a sick man oh, I thought I was gonna be able to stun him no I'd heal. Low on stamina, back out. Oh my god. I think you just knocked him in the water. I know, I was like, I wonder if I can. One more hit. You're good. Nice. Look at that. Look at you go. Woohoo! I got more stuff. Woo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can see heat, but not the fire. Okay, so maybe that was blood out over there. Maybe. Maybe that wasn't heat from the heater. It was blood vision. Yeah, maybe there was something. Uh, Kaiser earlier said maybe check outside. Oh. oh, I think this is it. Yes. You found the knife. This must be Clay Cox's knife. All right. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. So, should we give it to him and then kill him and then take it back? <laughs> um, give it to him, see what dialogue happens, and then kill him, yeah. Although, maybe wait for... Does it... Do we have to wait for him to be fully recovered, I wonder? Your country needs you. Well, let's see, like, how good this knife is. You know what I mean? That's true. Mm. Kaiser says, Ashley has pretty good situational awareness. I think she would have a knack for souls. Oh. They're just trying to hard sell you I on know, this. I know. Like, they're like, hey, uh, I don't know if you thought about this before. Uh, but, uh... The knife is seems to be a key item, which means you can't equip it. Yeah. So, All right. Well. So that takes away some of that... That decision pressure. Dread. Yeah, that decision pressure. Decision pressure is rough. Decision pressure. Wait, go down this way. I know. I can transport myself over no, there. No, no, no. Uh, there, you found a locked door on that one side, right? Maybe you can unlock it from this side. Mm, that doesn't seem to be a thing in this game. It's locked. We'll just try it. Do it for me. Was this this? Where it's was it? It's locked, all right. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, he's level five, but it's green? Yeah. So, was this just like a normal person? And I was like... No. He seemed to be... very rarry. Yeah, go to that gate. No, it's I locked. Enter. Okay. So that's different from Souls. They just have... They're like, you gotta go all the way around. Yeah. Which is kind of nice, because it forces closer. you... Don't come closer. Level 13. Oh, dang. Just do it. Do it. You can take him. Oh, my. Oh, There's wow. There's three of them. Yep. Oh shit. Oh, he's a shotgun. shotgun. Oh god, Ashley. Back out, back out, back out. I can't. Yeah, you can. Heal again. Oh, oh. Jesus. 
<laughs> I went down the wrong alley. Apparently. Whew. Uh, do you lose anything when you die is the question. Uh, seeing you guys in Bain Street makes me want to as well, but I have no clue what to even stream. Plus, I Dear would Lord, need what a takedown. to be <laughs> back in my apartment <gasps> so I can have a private space. Yeah, streaming's fun, Aqua. So, do I have to go all the way back to the hospital and do that all over again? Uh, I don't know. Yikes. I saw them and I was like, I should just go back down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, either do blind runs. I mean, Bane's just doing a PvP. Like, he's not doing anything blind. So, you don't necessarily have to do blind playthroughs. I think... I like blind playthroughs a lot. I think they're very fun to do. Oh my god. So you're back at the hospital. Check your knife. Check your key items. Or just go talk to him and see if you still have the knife. So we don't lose our experience, which is very good. We don't lose our money, it seems, which is very good. Um, um Where's my key items? Uh go Wait. look at Go look at the faces. Uh, go look at the faces on the far right. Oh, okay. In your menu. R2. Bring back the knife. So, yeah, yeah, so you already have the knife. Okay. So there's not a big consequence in death, it seems. That's nice. Cause, yeah. I mean, this is a very long story, so. Yeah. I think they don't want to take away from, like, the narrative. Um, see, it, like, what they do in Souls is when you die... You drop all your experience points, and then you have you to have run to back pick and up. pick them up. Yeah, which does add a nice challenge and a nice consequence to death. But uh, it's kind of refreshing to not have to deal with that either. Yeah, I have found your knife. I have found a gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now I feel invincible again. I got 20 shillings twice? Yeah. All right, uh, check his level, R2. So still only 900. He's recovering still. Maybe when he's fully recovered, he'll be more? Um, I mean, that would make sense. Biologically, yeah. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're. Dude, you're just such a dick to him. Take care of yourself. Cox, the sooner I'm able to leave this damn place, the better. Oh, maybe if he recovers, he'll leave. Just kill him. Yeah. Just do it. Okay. All right. Let's let's see what this this I'll looks like. Oh wait, do I have to do that? Yeah, you have to do that in that menu, I think. Hey, Doc. Mesmerize, L1. Okay. All right. Bad the Ogie. nurse is right there. Maybe that was a bad time. To no, do I think you're good. Because you're just like, hey, come here. Let's chat it up a little bit. Bloodborne. <laughs> You gotta find a dark, shadowy place. You just walk him into like a combat zone. <laughs> Where can we go? Get a room. Where can I suck? Do I do it now? No, you released him. I didn't mean to. Hey, Doc. Oh, follow the smoky trail. I can't mesmerize him again. Oh, no. No way. Did it have L2? Where does it say one for one? Right there. Oh, yeah. Well, you messed it up. All right, sweet. Go uh, follow the story path for a little bit. Oh, my God. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Wait a minute. Maybe he has to reset a little bit. Hey, Doc. Mm. Oh, there we go. Where should I go? Uh, it said follow the smoky trail, Kaiser said. Oh. Okay. Let's 
so there's a smoke trail. Oh, there. Oh, but which direction? This one, okay. Yeah. It's leading you to a nice little, little place. It'd be weird if they just have you kill him like in the middle in, of the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just go right here in front of everyone. Yeah, I wonder if like people start getting suspicious if more people like disappear. Oh you know? yeah, like literally I'm just walking him right into the hospital. I mean which makes which sense. You would Why do. would I walk a patient down a dark alley? <laughs> yeah, it makes more sense than just uh yeah. Wow, you're, are, are you just going to kill him in the hospital? In my are office, you, maybe. Oh, maybe. I don't know. No. Uh, are you going around this corner here? Do you have to dispose of the body? I don't know. Embrace. All right, here we go. Killed, extorted, stole. Now I'll die. Fuck it. Huh. You guys hatchet, shillings. So now I'm haunted by him? Is that the. I guess. Thing? We'll see how that works. Coding. So. Now we can go talk to. So I get to hear his voice all the time? I don't know. But this, this music is very haunting. Have I never been in this room before? I guess not. This is so sad. I know, it's a bit depressing. Your eyes will reflect your choices. That's weird. My eyes. Do they know. glow red when I'm thirsty. Okay then. Uh, go up and talk to Doctor Swansea, I guess. Merchant. Okay. Just continue the story, or you can go rest and then talk do it. Talk to Edgar Swansea. Yeah. Let me just check something. All right. So we have reached the pharmacy. And find out who's showing Oh, and he's these? crossed out up there. Do you see that? Him? Yeah. So we figured him out first. So should we... Let's do this first, though? Before Swansea? No, I think we can do Swansea now. But won't Swansea move on to, like, another day? Or should I sleep first? Uh, it's up to you. It's up to you. Let's just do this. Okay. I'm, like, the side quest first kind of gal. I believe it. You believe it. Do you, you want to level up first? You live it. Um. Do, how much experience do I get when I kill things on the street? Do I get any experience? You get that? some. Like uh, you had nineteen, I think, or sixteen. So you have yeah, you had sixteen. So you have like twenty five. You have about, have about twenty six hundred. It just disappeared. What did? The face on my map. Oh, that's weird. Maybe go in there. Maybe it's this now. Thelma Howcroft said she was being watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? Oh, this is that man. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor too? Not no anymore, shit. sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Interesting. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. But I still wear a doctor's jacket to, a doctor. <laughs> to confuse people. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I, I find it amazing how if your Twitch's recommendation system, one is for Overwatch and one is for Fortnite and what is for Nier. Near looks genuinely like something yes, very easy work, sir. We started that I would that. like. Have to do is watch a few what? Bodies. We started that a little. Situation was very very little, yeah. That's one I would like to play but... on stream. Why one out of three is not good. Because these poor fellows <laughs> batting average. Names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. 
Nier's a great Kaiser Sadly, from what we played. Very rarely happens. Can't win them all. And I've heard really great things about its story. They closed the hospital's main morgue. It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded Is by some... Is that scary to, to you, baby? Why should I? These bodies Is are empty. Is that scary to you? Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting mm. point of view. Mm. And quite mm -hmm. an exotic one, too. Most people fear or at least have respect for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to take, not death itself. All right. Interesting. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. Down the by the banks of the Hanky Panky. <laughs> <laughs> Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Milton. Milton. We like Milton. Milton's cool. Have we met before? We're going to kill Milton, I don't by the way. So, so. We are? Yeah. No, we're not. I like him. Since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You oh, no. Missing, and she was looking for your body. Oh. oh, no. She must be very relieved now. We uh, are probably going to kill is, him. She's very dead, sir. I wonder why he's not a doctor anymore. Yeah. Although you can trade with him, he's a merchant. Do you want to kill a merchant? To get all types of people here. Oh, yes, sir. Really? All kind of. He people. knows too much. But I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic. Yeah. What if, like, after a while, he's unsafe. like, "That's His weird. I haven't seen your sister around the here." Customers <laughs> for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember, and all my clients are good people. In fact. I think Thanks for I hanging out, Aqua. Good Have a good day. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. Peace. I exchange. Some people sell. Some others buy. I like to help. He likes to help. He's a helpful man. Ah. Do you believe in life after death? Do you believe death? in life after death? <laughs> I believe no, we no, must no. do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy mm. immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake He's me. like, why are you asking I me such a <laughs> Why? Everything has What's your ends. fascination with immortality, Even sir? Goodwill. I don't have any. <laughs> are you British? Goodwill yes. <laughs> as I said, sir. Everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful. Would you be bored like if he never died? Probably. Yes. I mean, the good news is I've never died before, so I can't tell you how exciting it is. Losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die. No, so you're ready I'm to not. die. <laughs> I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chiddell. So no, he doctor. might have people I'm that care about him. Mm -hmm. But I like to think otherwise. Uh, I, like I like this him. guy. I don't want to kill him. I don't really want to kill him either. But he does know too much. Okay, so we're good with this, the tree. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. <laughs> but I'm sure they can be useful. I like this guy. Mm. Oh, he has some some stuff. Stuff to make stuff. I'm glad so Platinum is finally a... doing well. Their history is weirdly inconsistent, but they uh, they have a few flops, but some excellent games. I don't know what I need yet, so I'm not gonna buy anything from him. But I think with Near and Bandit too, they found their strengths, and I hope. Yeah, I hope so too. They uh they announced another game at E3 or they teased a game at E3 I love Platinum I think Platinum makes really fun games oh um, I bet I can find stuff here Milton oh I don't I did not see what that letter was what about. happens with build 
I wonder what the obsession is with the Y. Because they use the Y as like their, their main logo of this game. It's kind of interesting. You'd think it would be the V. You know what I mean? Maybe because it has the most branching paths of any letter. Mm. Oh, he's got some money. You're looting the corpses. You're finding their pockets and emptying them I'm for them. You're such a good doctor. You're such a good doctor. He's the best doctor. Uh, did they do the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Legend of Korra games? That's fascinating. I've, I've heard great things about Nier. I really want to actually play that game. Okay, so... Nier was when we saw how toxic the internet is to female gamers, though. <laughs> what, what was that? That was when uh, we played Nier and we died in the first few minutes and then we literally had to start the whole game over. Oh, when we wa and we and looked you, at a forum. You went on Reddit and you just saw like how toxic the internet is towards female gamers. It is, it is sad. It's really sad. But Cause yeah, Because la ladies here. like to game... Ladies like to game too, everyone. Ladies like video games as well. And somehow I'm still here. Well, because because you're super chill. You don't care what the haters say. You just want a game. <laughs> you just want right. to get your game on without the hate. So don't like, hate, appreciate. I don't think you can track that person's quest right now. Okay, I guess not, because it keeps disappearing. But then look at this. Uh, maybe it might. Might Wrong make for target. Find out who's spying on Thelma. Interesting detours topic. It's the history of platinum. Still on there. It's this way. Uh, for forums, Kaiser. We after we played the beginning chapter of Nier, Ashley was like looking up like, wait, do you seriously just die, and then have to start the whole game over? And there was a bunch of like f posts that are like. Like, women shouldn't be gaming anyways, so if you want to play a game that's not hard, go play a game that's easier for you or something like that. Like, this is a game for men. Yeah. Don't be misguided just because it's a female protagonist. Like, it was just toxic shit. And, like, the original poster didn't say if they were male or female. They just assumed that it was female because... It was a game with a female protagonist, and well, their name the person was... was having trouble. <laughs> their name was kind of girly. Yeah. Like oh, I didn't read the, what the name was. You I were just reading it out loud it was, to me. But... Seriously, what are what's what century are people from? I don't know, man. There's a lot of a lot of hate for female gamers. Like, it's not even just hate for female gamers. It's either like hate for female gamers or just like toxicity with females, where they're like. Oh, you're a woman gaming on the internet? Let me perv out over you. It's just it's just sad. But that's why we gotta get we gotta get those chill environments going. Get the get the chill streams up and get the chill streams yeah, up. Yeah, get the chill streams up and just play video games and have a good time with them. Hashtag and be chill. With, with a chill stream. Yeah. People just need to relax. I, yeah, I don't know. It's on the map, and then it disappears. Yeah. There's all this new stuff. Is it, like, everywhere. what are you searching for? Someone spying on her? So maybe, like, only can, when they peek their head out, you can see them? I can craft, like, a bunch of stuff right now. Yeah, you're you're getting all the supplies. It feels like you, maybe the these rooms restock a little bit. I cause, think they did. Or maybe when you die, they restock. Uh, I think more gamers. Ugh. There is a game to connect with everyone and have a partner that shares in your hobby. Sounds pretty awesome to me. Yeah. Uh, when Ashley and I started dying. dating. It needs water. No. no. Uh, when Ashley and I were uh, just starting to uh, date in that, I was really excited over the fact that... Uh, she liked video games. Tell tell them uh, the Sephiroth story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, okay. We were just starting to date. Yeah. And um, I was like, yeah, I like games too. Like, uh, you know, my first console was Sega and my favorite games are this, this, and that. And mm -hmm. I used to be really into Kingdom Hearts, like really, really into it. Like, And I was like, oh, I'm, game. I'm replaying Kingdom Hearts right now. 
I'm at like this one part, like I just can't beat Sephiroth, and I'm like, I'm too low of a level. I'm like level sixty something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I've beat Sephiroth before because he's pretty much the most difficult boss in the game. And, yeah. And he was like, oh, that's that's cool. Or really, like, what level were you? And I was like, I think I was like level seventy five. I don't remember. But uh, and I was like, no, you have to be level 100 to beat him. And I was like, no, no, I got it, I got it. And so we put it on, and then and then I started playing, and I was like, okay, I just got to make sure I have the right item, like a, an yeah. either or whatever. And then, uh, and then it was like, first try, level 65, done, <laughs> one and done. I was like, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, just one before. and done, the hardest boss in the game. And just like, it'd been something that I'd been like trying to beat for like, a couple of weeks or whatever and I was just like I can't get it and I'm like like grinding up to try to get stronger and I just couldn't do it Sephiroth and Kingdom Hearts 1 is an epic fight one of my favorites in the series but the Kingdom Hearts 2 version was pretty good the one in the first game just puts a lot more pressure on you yeah like it's crazy because like he starts that fight out and his health bar doesn't dip at all and so it makes it really terrifying. Yeah. Like, g fighting a boss and seeing no damage dip off their health bar? That's scary. Like, what if one of these guys just didn't have any damage taken for a I while? <laughs> Would you be, like, really upset? You'd be like, why is it not working? Yeah, it was confusing. Yeah. But, um... Wait, the... Turn around? I know, there's stuff. Well, no, I saw the face. These might have been the people watching her. They were. Oh. Look at that. Um... Vampire Activity Hospital Survey Investigate. Three days ago, one of our recruits heard a rumor about the presence of a female vampire hiding in Pembroke Hospital. Pembroke? Her first name, Thelma discreetly go there and observe the suspicious activity and then report directly. So they were really not doing anything. Yeah, they were just chilling. <laughs> and I killed them. Yeah. Small bag of junk. I got a bag of junk. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Got a small bag of junk for you right here. <laughs> I'm 12. <laughs> I told you this stream is going to be just a lot of us doing really terrible accents. Yeah. And dick jokes. <laughs> yep. That's our life. That's, that's what we Why do. Why do I do that every time? That's what we do in the Manly House. Alright. We're also just super chill. Super casual. A little bit tired. A little bit lazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry if these aren't the most entertaining streams with District status crazy serious. antics. I'm going down the wrong street. Yeah, that looks like a new area. This this place is healthy though. It's, it's feeling the good. Hospital. Let's just while I'm up here. Just rest. No. Um. Craft some supplies. Mm-hmm. What I is like this? It. Why? Find the local command post. Oh, so I have to do much more. Yeah. For that. Okay. And that's an unhealthy district. That means there's probably a lot of combat ready to. So I definitely want to level up before I go. Yeah. Yeah, before you go over there. All right. Um, but what else do I want to do? I want to do. Well, you need to talk to S so Swarovski. I can. Um... Mortimer, Mortimer is still recovering, probably overnight. Yeah. Does, oh, wait, no, I'll go back. Anybody else? Not that I know of. Why is she all alone? That's strange. Who was that? Was it the barmaid? No, it was Dorothy Crane. Hmm. Anybody How else need healing? Okay, so we need fatigue medicine. Wait, did we already? Okay. Uh, we have not gotten fatigue medicine to him. No. Just one more? Yeah. So one more fatigue. And then I'd hold on to crafting supplies just because you don't really know what you're going to need, you know? Yeah. Because as you meet more people. I'm going to switch over to this one. All reach right. The reach the pharmacy. I mean, it's something we got to do eventually. 
After surviving most of the fight, he gets the heartless angel and meteors attack, and you feel the pressure of what a mistake will cause. Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, you do. You do. You do. It's a good game. I'm it's, excited for the new one. I am, too, just because, I mean, like, I really fell off the boat because the story started getting so ridiculous. Well, the stories were separated out into games on, like, essentially every single console. Like, every handheld, mobile phone, games, things like that. Are you going to talk to Swansea? No, I'm going to um, find the pharmacy. Oh, and then my I'm goodness. I'm going to talk to Swansea. Oh, my goodness. You are just... Sleep. Well, I am trying to manage my time well. I like it. I appreciate it. I'm trying to do as much as I can. You're, you're trying to persona it out. I get it. Yep. Persona gives you the most anxiety. Oh my gosh, that game. That game you're like, ah! <laughs> Just because of time. Yep. Am I seeing 166 meters? Yeah. Reach the pharmacy. Is this... Uh, you don't want to go down there. Oh, we never found that other guy's buddy either. Yeah, you could find that. We could do that. Oh my god, we could do we could do it all. All the side quests. Like it is still kind of a fetch quest, but it has meaning. You know what I mean? Like it feels like it's important. So oh. So these guys reset. Now remember, the, not sneaky at all. the enemies are stronger here, which is why I was saying you might want to level up. Because you're still only level 6. These boys are level 10. I like how he just waits for me to finish him off. Yeah. Well, because I think you probably have invincibility frames in that animation. Yeah, because it'd be really messed up if you didn't. Oh, there's more. Oh, lordy. The gang's all here. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, my God. It's that one. Yep. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I have don't played go the game the with right a dagger eye. and a broken sword, and I do not feel nerfed in melee in any way they're uh they are genuinely good weapons and my melee stats have been below uh of a starting melee character but between understanding weapons and spells i feel challenging level remains pretty fair but we will see how i do in the dlc it's pretty is this your first time playing dark souls 2 kaiser or uh, have like have you just watched people play it, or have you played it before yourself? Oh, awesome! That's cool that it's your first time. I just assumed that you'd played all three, like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Oh, you got a boss. He's level sixteen. Oh, I oh. Uh, I you might want to level up a bit. Up. You can just leave. That's cool that you can leave boss rooms. <laughs> I don't think he was necessarily a boss. I he think had a he big old health bar. He had a big old chunky health bar. I think he just existed there, but he wasn't like a boss. I don't know. He had a boss bar at the bottom of the screen. He had a big old chunky, chunky bar, chunky meter. All right. I will level up first. All right. Maybe just talk to Swansea while you're here. Oh, wait. Where's my... Oh, no. That's not my hideout. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding. JK. Uh -huh. I passed my... Okay. Let's go talk to Swansea and level up. That cat is just laying there all day long. She's yeah. so cute and chubby. More stuff? Apparently. It's locked. Wait. Did you want to talk to Swans? Yeah. Where is he? Uh, right 
there? No. Main hall. So do you watch a lot of games uh, as opposed to playing them, Kaiser? Just for like time and money's sake? Jonathan, come in. I thought you said geez, like geez, it took you so long. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Oh, Biology this man is kind of creepy. <laughs> the more we hmm. explore its boundaries, the less we are able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view in a way. Vitiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> this must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea. But my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. Um. So do you just uh, not care about spoilers, Kaiser? I don't care about spoilers, so there's no judgment there, but I uh, was just wondering. There is an absurd poetry to my situation. Physician, heal thyself. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant <laughs> physician. And please, call me Edgar. Now you are a vampire, and that's kind of interesting. Did you ever watch those Twilight movies? <laughs> That Edward. <laughs> hmm, we need each other or no need to apologize? I'm just uh, saying, no need to apologize. I like we need each other. I'm not some okay. doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. We did suck clay, fat ogie. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something we haven't used his experience, though. Your newfound mm -hmm. skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Oh. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman mm. or politician is what we need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Wait, look at your face. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady I can't, Ashbury actually. has recently oh. received rather indelicate correspondence that if revealed, would jeopardize her position. Hmm. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? Oh, wow. I'm an By assassin. Soul, of yeah. Not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is This is kind of cool, where it's like, you're a creature of the night, but you're making friends, you know? Impossibly delicate. Mm -hmm. Like, you're trying to be Excellent. a good monster. I'll see what kind of I'm a kind of monster. Missed the second suck of the game. You did. Yeah. It's all good. We will suck some more. We shall. There's always time for a good sucking. Oh, I found a Rik Rikesh letter. Ooh. Um, I'm glad to manage the temporary morgue. And uh, concerning the question of my qualifications, I'm sorry I can't give you anything more valuable than my parole i swear to you that my regiment made me a doctor during the war and that i saved many lives if my word is not enough you can contact the military administration to verify Ugh. my experience and skills uh okay i want to get back into neo like the loot system does kind of uh turn me off just a hair but i think i can get past that uh, Warning did you meet letter. McCollum yet? Do we meet McCollum? In, uh, I think so. I mean, his name popped up on the bottom of some papers and stuff. Yeah. Wasn't he the first fight? The first boss? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. Um, dear Dr. Swansea, I must inform you of my deepest reservations concerning the Dr. Thro Strickland. And Harvey Fittick case. Mr. Fittick has been hospitalized after a severe work injury. He may permanently lose the use of his arm if not treated adequately. 
So this is from Ackroyd. Yeah, so he's like, don't let them do this experimental treatment. Dr. Strickland claims that a surgical procedure may save the man's arm completely. I say it may also se uh, severe its functions for good. Mm, he's audacious and a daring surgeon who might be a good professional in a few years, but for now he lacks the skills to perform such a risky procedure. Um, need I remind you of his mistakes in the past? Okay, so Ackroyd is just like genuinely concerned. Yeah, he's a good dude. I think and they're all Strickland's good doctors. Rare species of vampires, new collectible. Oh. Um. Consider the possibility of undiscovered species of vampires. And he has a blue suit. Okay. Well, Econ. Keep an eye out for him. Econ. That just came up on something else. Yeah. I think she's dreaming. Oh, goodness. Our cat's dreaming, guys. Um, she okay. thinks so sweet. Maybe that Econ is the one that, like, speared me. Could be. Wait, who speared you and killed you that one time? Do you that need something, Jonathan? Do you need something? I have questions, question mark? I have just a few questions. <laughs> I might have some questions, questions. Away. I'm at your service, Doctor. I'm sh pretty sure Edgar was talking to him. Okay. Possibly. Since I'm the one working for you, what should I know about Pembroke Hospital? Well, for many years, we have been mm. the only medical facility in this part of town that people can kind of sleepy. We support yeah. the community. Oh, on a little nap. As well as provide like this kitten healthcare. down here. She's having a nap. Where do we stand today? <laughs> well, to be honest, we cope on a day-to-day -day basis. The first wave of the Spanish flu last summer took The us conversational by trees are very long. We lack many of the basic necessities yeah. needed. But I feel like I have to me? click on every single one. Yeah. What we need is hope. Well, you they are soldier. interesting. Because you unveil war, different hints in that. Coat still a yeah, uniform. like they're really well written, we which is good. Help the poor, mm -hmm. the sick of the East End. Because sometimes these can just be like monotonous. Nino Cooney one got that oh, way. Oh God, Nino Cooney you mentioned one. Something about I love that game, society. but a brotherhood. The dialogue just cool. really crippled it Could for you me. Elaborate. Because Certainly. they were saying a lot without saying a anything. Of the well, they repeated constantly in that game. Mm -hmm. We are pledged to monitor and report vampire activity in England as impartial scientific observers. And then the biggest thing about Nino Kuni 2 is the font. <laughs> uh, there's a lot wrong with that game. That explains your nightly wonder. Just a shame. The docks we barely the started it, though. It I didn't it give me any reason to continue it, though. To that part of True. There was something as yet unseen that set those chain of events in motion. We've played mm. it a little bit. <laughs> Definitely yeah, not on the show, but... Fear me. I'd, and still, uh, we should still give it a, a chance. I think we need to go farther. Service. Yeah. The Brotherhood has studied your kind for centuries. You know, Cooney 1 is great, though. As a lion oh. Is to a gazelle. oh. <laughs> yeah, Fat Ogie, I know you like... Uh, you have a Since Nino Kuni thing as your vampires. uh your you profile picture on Discord, right? Came about. As men of science, our first step is always to start with what we know. Forget the myths, the hackneyed scrawlings and the penny dreadfuls. They do not scratch the surface of the truth you now find yourself in. The sun <laughs> the morning following my transformation. Its rays burn me. There was pain, smoke, uh, and my skin blackened. It, it's a cool you game. You find there is very little that can kill a vampire, my friend. It's a great game. You have been offered relative immortality. The sun will most certainly hurt you, leaving you weakened and damaged, but it will not destroy you. Oh, really? It just weakens me. Must I Interesting. take a life to live? You are a vampire. You feed. And blood is the sole sustenance that can sustain your immortal frame. And only a living creature contains the nourishment you require. By the other Miyazaki. It is. Hmm. The man we pursued. Nino Kuni 1 was. Uh, 
Nino Kuni 2, I think, did not was have he, uh, any uh, Studio Ghibli he involvement. Was a star, technically speaking. Oh. The debate rages. It doesn't look like it. Some think them a subspecies of vampire, others something else. It's just chilling. Did you hear that? That what? skulls are different? Yes. Do, how do skulls come into existence? The name means slave. The etymology may indicate that they are a lesser species of vampire. From what I know, vampires tend to despise them. Just for clarity, what differences are there between myself and a, a skull? A skull is easier to eliminate, Jonathan. Even if they oh, remain nice. formidable foes for the unprepared. I don't know. Some vampires, of those skulls really took care no, of you. <laughs> vampires exist beyond the mortal realm. Sick, tight. Okay. We'll see each other again. Let's go soon. level up. Alright. I'm excited for that. Where's the door? Uh, Where's right the there. door? Where is the door? Go left. Nope. Behind you. Behind you, Ray! Hmm. That's that woman that's downstairs. Hmm, anything new in here? Okay. I don't know. What should we do? I don't know, but we have a lot of experience. We almost have 3,000. Maybe get the claws. claws. Yeah. Yeah, let's get the claws. All right. It's expensive, but we got it. Okay. Uh, maybe increase your bite. Mm -hmm. If you can. Uh, Hard biting, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we can get level three. Worth 600. Wait, hold on. And then this is increase um, plus 10% heal. So. Oh, so you, maybe you get a little bit of health there. back. Okay, those are. Okay. Um, number of bullets. More than three serums. Not really a need right now. Increase your blood capacity. We haven't done this. Oh, that'd at be good. All. That'd be good, yeah. I think that's important. Yeah. And then, um, what's that? Increase your blood absorption when you Ooh, bite. Ooh, that's really good. Let's get some of that. Maybe get a couple more of that. Um, let me check the other things. Body condition is your health and your endurance. I'd love to have more endurance. Yeah. Ultimate cost none to damage recovery range. You lose control, you let the beast take over for a short time. The beast teleports itself to all enemies around you and strikes them. Damn. How much is that? Uh, we can't get that yet. It's locked. Uh, tactical. Spring. You perform a supernatural move on your target and cause damage upon landing. Oh. Cost is 10, recovery is 10. 10. Interesting. Range. Range. It's very ranged. Yeah. Two meters. Shadow Veil. Um, toggle. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Uh, That's kind of cool. I would focus on that kind of stuff really. later. Defensive coagulation. You'll block your target's blood in their veins, making them defenseless. Um, you create an invisible barrier. I would what's move this one? up tracks. That's I that kinda, shadow mist. Like, I'm okay with this one, but yeah, I don't know. I would move down tracks that you're already leveling up and try to get them up to where they're locked. You know what I mean? Heal could be good. Yeah, let's do this. All right. 1,300. I can't even do that. Nope. So go back. Uh, do the uh, this big, one. Yeah, let's do some more big thirst. Because these are cheapies. You can keep going down that path too, if you want. 
We could do one more hard biting. It does more damage. Or... Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Get some health in there. Um, wait, what was the other one, though? Or we could just increase my health. Yeah. Because that's really low. We barely touched that. Uh-huh. You can do one more skill if you one want. One more chibi. Yeah. My oh, stamina, no. yeah. Yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's a really good spread of abilities. Okay. All right. And you have to confirm it. All right. You want to wrap up here? Sure. Oh, Thank you for wait. watching another episode of Sidecar Games Plays Vampire. If you want to watch us live, head over to twitch.tv slash Sidecar Games. Uh, we, we stream a lot more now. <laughs> uh, Monday and Wednesday confirmed every single week. And then sometimes you get a little weekend bonus streams with me and my wife. Maybe Chris will start doing some solo streams. We're, we're just, trying to, just trying to stream a lot more. Uh, yeah. If you had a good time, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on Sidecar Games.